What's going on guys? So today I have a video for you featuring one card combos from the newly released Salomon Great deck. So this deck has been doing a ton in the TCG metagame, especially at YCS Dusseldorf where it had the highest representation having over 1200 decks enter into the event. So the, the best thing about this deck is its consistency and its uh, ability to produce the same thing every single game. So uh, you might not put out the strongest boards out there, but you are doing it every single game, so it's consistent, and then you can cater your side decks for games two and games three to fix the issues against you know some of the more powerful decks in the metagame. So you have a, a small one to two card engine that consistently puts out an, uh, one negate uh, or one negate plus another disruption, plus your ability to reoccur hand trap. So this deck, it's accessibility its consistency and its decent power level has definitely ingrained itself into the tcg so with this combo tutorial i hope you learned something new we have everything from your bread and butter one card combos and a actual one card otk with lady debug that can clear uh, over eight thousand damage through a uh, clear board so I have my buddy from the Dual Factory today helping me out. Uh, if you don't know who he is, he's uh, he's a good friend of mine. He knows the deck very well. So if you have the time, go check his uh, channel in the description. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. What's up, boys? It's the Dual Factory and Bingo. And in today's video, what I'm going to be showing you is a couple of Salomon Great combos. They're real basic combos, but I'm going to be showing you them with Lady Debug. As many of you know, Lady Debug is a Stratos for the archetype. And it's actually really cool because it lets you facilitate a lot of plays. For example, it's a one-card OTK. Um, with this card alone, it lets you end on your Sunlight Wolf and your Mirage Stalio. And then with any extender such as Gazelle or Spiny in hand, you can end on your regular combo with one of the trap cards set face down. So without further ado, I'm going to go hang into the combo. And the first one I'm going to show you is the one-card OTK with Lady Debug. So, in this combo, what ends up happening is you'll go Lady B Debug, you'll activate the effect upon Normal Summon, and you're going to add Salmon Great Gazelle to your hand. So, this is now on your hand. And then from here, you take the Lady Debug and link it off, and you're going to turn it into Salmon Great Bane Links. At this stage, you can activate the effect of Bane Links to add the Salmon Great Sanctuary. And then from here, what ends up happening is actually uh, one of the instances where you need two Bane Links in the extra deck. You'll use the Sanctuary and then use its effect to reincarnate Link Summon. So turn this Bane Lynx into a second Bane Lynx. And then because the Salomon Great card was sent to the graveyard, you can now activate the effect of the Gazelle in your hand and it summons to the field. The Gazelle's effect will activate once it's summoned and you'll send a copy of Spiny to your graveyard. And the next step in the combo is you activate Spiny. Since you control a Salomon Great card on the field, you actually have two of them and you summon the Spiny. Now, at this point, usually you go in the Mirage style, but in the one-card OTK, what ends up happening is you take the Gazelle and the Spiny because they're two level two or higher Salomon Great monsters. The Spiny will banish, keep that in mind, and then that turns into your Update Jammer. And then from here, you take the Bay and the Update Jammer, and you turn them into your Transcode Talker. Now, no, in this combo for the one-card OTK, the only effects you can activate are Cyber's effects, so keep that in mind when you're doing this. Um, your Transco Talker will activate, bringing back the Update Jammer. And when the Update Jammer was sent to the graveyard for the Link Summon of a Cyber's monster, it, that's what gives your Transco Talker two attacks. Now, at this stage, the Transco Talker is gaining 500, and so is the Update Jammer, so this is at 25 and this is at 28. The update jammer also gave your transco talker the ability to attack twice. So through a clear fear, this is 28 twice, which is 56, and 25 equals 8,100 points of damage. So that's the first combo. The second combo will show the same thing, where it is Lady Debug, and it starts off the exact same way. You go Lady Debug, activate the effects, and you're going to get your gazelle out of your deck. Then you turn it into your Salmon Great Bane Links, and then your Bane Links effect will activate. You'll add the Sanctuary to your hand. Activate the Sanctuary, and then you're going to use it to reincarnate Link Summon into your second Bay Links. Since the Salmon Great went to the graveyard again, you'll activate your Gazelle. The Gazelle's effect will activate, sending your Spiny, and then you're at the same point in the combo because the Spiny can summon itself since you control a Salmon Great. Now, instead of going into your Update Jammer at this point, what ends up happening is you overlay the two, and that's what gets you access to your Mirage Stalio. 
Then you will use your Stalio. Detach. I always detach the Gazelle because that's the card you want to add back. So you have a follow-up play the following turn. And this lets you summon any level 4 or lower from your deck. In this case, I'm going to summon Jack Jaguar so you have access to it. Because you don't know what the other 4 cards in your hand will be at this point. But then here what happens is you can link these two off into your first Sunlight Wolf. And you've already used Sanctuary in this combo string, so you can't use it to reincarnate Link Summon. But what you can do is you can put one of the Bay Lynxes back to summon the Jag Jaguar into this zone right here. And this will be a play that adds up the Gazelle to your hand. So for that combo, this is your ending board. And for one card, you end with an additional four on top of the replacing itself, so it's a plus four. Now, what we'll end up doing here is we'll go back to the beginning of the combo string, and I will show you how to do the combo with Lady Debug, but open any additional extender. So it can either be Gazelle or Spinny, but for this matter, we'll just keep it simple, and I'll show you with Gazelle. So starting off your combo, you activate Lady Debug, adding the copy of Gazelle to your hand, and then you do the same thing by turning the Lady Debug into your Valynx. The Vein Links effect will activate, just like any other combo strings, you add your Sanctuary. Now, from here, since you control a Salomon Grape, or actually no, I'm sorry, you'll have to activate the Sanctuary again. And then from here, since you already have the Gazelle in hand, this is one of the cool things, you can activate the Sanctuary, send this to the Graveyard, and then summon the Vein Links yet again, if I can get to it. That'll trigger the gazelle that's in your hand. And then the gazelle's effect will activate sending any card. And remember, you already have an extender in your hand. So at this point in the combo, what we're going to do is we're going to send one of the trap cards. Uh, going blind, I think Roar is probably the best one to send, but you can send whatever you want. Then one of the cool things here is you can activate the effect of the spiny in your hand because you can activate this effect turn one and then just target either one of these and increase it by 500. It doesn't really matter. And then that's in your graveyard, and then you can special summon the Spiny, going back to your Mirage Stalio play. So we get to the Mirage Stalio. Then use this effect, always detach the Gazelle so you can use it later in your combo string. And then we will summon the Jag Jaguar. Then you can link these two. And make your Sunlight Wolf. Now from here you'll activate the Jag Jaguar, putting back one of the Bane Lynxes yet again. And then you'll summon this. The effect of your wolf will activate since you summon once to the zone that it points to, and you're going to add Gazelle back to your hand. So then the next step in this combo is you take these two and you link it into a second Sunlight Wolf, so you get the additional effect of your Sunlight Wolf. And this will add a copy of any spell or trap card from your graveyard to your hand, and you get Salomon Great War. So now you have a set Salomon Great Roar, you have your Sunlight Wolf and your Morastalia, and you have a Gazelle follow-up play of the following turn. And those are just some of the basic combos you can do with Lady Debug in your deck. Um, I'll show some more intricate combos once I get a little bit more familiar with the deck. But until then, these are some basic ones that you can go with, especially just showing you what you can do with one or two card openings. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go check out my buddy's channel when you see this. Uh, we're trying to get him just as big as I am, if not bigger. And we'll hopefully we'll bring you some more content in the future. Peace.